Hello guys, in this video I'm going to share with you how to set up your FB skins files. So in your case directory we have this folder called system and inside that folder we have this file called FB schemes. If we open that file we have it here. We can see that there are multiple entries that we need to define to set our discretization schemes. So let's start. To understand this, it, it needs to be clear that we are solving for the continuity equation and the Navier-Stokes equations. So these are continuous equations that need to be discretized. So we are starting with the temporal derivatives. For example, we have here a term called uh, d rho dt and here, for example, du dt, dv dt. So we need to set our scheme for the temporal derivatives. So in this line, DDT schemes, we have multiple choices. So here, for temporal derivatives, uh, in general, in this video, we are going to talk always uh, about stability and accuracy, and what choice are we going to make. So in this case, we start with the most stable choice. We have the Euler scheme, this scheme is first order, is bounded, and is going to give us a very stable solution. But we are using this only at the beginning of our simulation, because we always want our results to be obtained with a second order discretization scheme. So for that, we have the crank nicholson scheme. But there is a peculiarity here, as you can see, here is defined the crank nicholson and there is a number that is going to be a blending factor. This blending factor is going to make our Crank Nicholson model work if we set it to zero as a, as a Neuler model and if we set it, set it to one as a, a full Crank Nicholson discretization scheme. So a good recommendation is to set this value to 0 0.7 and we can uh, obtain good results with that. There is also another option that is called Buckware. This one is second order, but it's, but it's not bounded. So this is going to be prone to oscillations, but it's going to give uh, better results. So at the end, it's going to be your choice. You only need to set these three schemes for transient flows, because there is a special line for steady state flows. They don't require to solve for time derivatives, but it's necessary to specify this line here as a steady state. Moving on, we have the interpolation schemes. So we are jumping from DDT schemes to interpolation schemes. Why is that? Because we are going to use these interpolation schemes with the other schemes, for example, with gradient and for the divergence term. So we need to understand this first. So we also are talking about here about stability and accuracy. So at the beginning of your simulation, you would want to use a first order uh, scheme. So we have for that the upwind scheme that is first order. A better option, a more accurate one would be to use the linear upwind scheme that is second order and bounded. And uh, if you want the best result, the most accurate one, you have the linear scheme. There is also a limited version of this linear uh, scheme called limited linear that uses a uh, blending factor. This blending factor works the other way around. You would set the blending factor to one for a more stable model and you would set it to zero for a more accurate one. There is also this, this scheme com called Van Leer that is often used for variables that are fixed. So variables that take values, for example, as for alpha in multiphase fluid from zero to one. So next we have gradient schemes. These schemes are used to solve the gradient terms in our equations. So here we have only two options. We have the more stable one that is Gauss and the more accurate one that is least square. There is also an argument that can be added. For example, there is phase limited and cell limited. These arguments are added to avoid uh, over or under shoot of our variables. And there is also a blending factor 
that is going to make it run a little bit more stable or a little bit more accurate depending on how we set them looking at the syntax uh, be careful with Gauss because Gauss is going to need an interpolation scheme so we talked about them just before so you will need to make a choice on what scheme you want to use depending on, on what kind of results you want linear is often used for the gradient scheme next we have divergent schemes so divergent schemes this one gets easier because we only have one option we only have gauss but for gauss we need to define the interpolation scheme so here on the right you can see that there are uh, three different models on how to set it up this is for a uh, for an interphone solver using a k epsilon turbulence model so if at the beginning of your simulation you would want to uh, set it up maybe like this using upwing the most simple scheme and setting alpha and the viscosity term always to van linear, linear and linear in all cases and you would want to change only the interpolation scheme for u k and epsilon if you are working with a k omega model you would only change uh, here to epsilon 2 omega but it would uh, work either way a model that is more accurate would use linear upwing and you would need to define the gradient field in this case for for you and the same for k and epsilon an even more accurate model uh, would be to use uh, limited linear instead of linear upwing uh, here for the velocity as this is a vector field there is a specialized interpolation schemes that adds a v that would stand for vectorial that, that works better for fields like u that are vectorial you also have this blending factor that we talked before finally we have uh, surface normal and Laplacian so at the end we have surface normal gradient schemes this is going to depend on your mesh so you can quickly go to your uh, case directory and open your terminal and you run check mesh check mesh is going to give you your max non-orthogonality angle in this line here in this case I'm working with zero but you you are going to have another value depending on your mesh so you take the value and if you are uh, for in, in my case I'm working with a max non-orthogonality angle of zero so I would choose orthogonal in the case your value is a little bit higher but lower than 5 uncorrected and even higher and uh, lower than 70 corrected there is this option called limited that is going to allow you to work with meshes that are even more non-orthogonal but the suggestion is to remesh and to try to get a better mesh this, these two surface normal and Laplacian are to get it because here we have Laplacian schemes they are together because as you, as you can see in the Laplacian we are working with the dot product so in a way we are going to use a surface normal vector so it's going to depend in our mesh there is here only one option as in divergent schemes we can only use Gauss and we would use an interpolation scheme for that model linear would go fine and we would take this one and put it right here because this is the same mesh and would receive the same treatment a side note if you're working with a k omega sst model you're going to define this wall this scheme the method that is often used is mesh wave so that would be all for the fb scheme file